carry on. I'm going to interrupt these nice people talking. We're just going to carry on walking past them, pretending it didn't happen. Hello and welcome back. And today I want to do some performance tests using the Synology Mesh Network. Now I've already done an unboxing and a software overview of Synology Router Manager 1.2, but today what I want to focus on is the difference between the Synology router and the Synology mesh system. What I'm gonna be doing is in the surrounding office area, I'm going to be doing uh, speed tests and wireless tests connecting to this RT2600 router on its own. Then I'm going to set up two mesh points and connecting to this device and creating a nice mesh network for this office that I'm in. Then I'm going to walk around the building and show you guys the difference in speed and fidelity compared with that device on its own. So what I'm going to do without further ado is make my way over to my setup on the other side of the room and then make, start making my way around this building. But quick warning, one, the sound quality does dip at points because obviously I'm moving around different points in a building and can't control the sound quality. And two, I am using a static camera so it's a little bit Blair Witch as I go around. But if you can deal with that and you can deal with this face, you can deal with these results. So let's make our way to that footage. Right, so now we're doing our speed test of just the router on its own. You can just make it out behind me. That is the Synology RT2600. There's no mesh, mesh points activated yet. And what I'm going to do is just go for a stroll around this area to show you exactly what the performance is going to be over distance. So as you can see from the application, it's already started dropping. If we move to the other side of the building here, you'll get some idea about just how much those performance levels will drop. Now after this I will be doing a mesh test using the mesh router you see here but I've turned that off specifically for this test to show you guys what happens when you reach this kind of distance and as you can see our DBM has dipped dramatically from what you can see there on the screen. It's still a little better I would say higher than that of the Linksys we used in another test that we'll be comparing against later but this is still quite a distance from that original Wi-Fi point. Now, if we move along to another part of the building, we'll carry on and see how long it will be before this device loses connectivity. It does have those four aerials, so it will cover a lot of distance. Back there is my office. I'm going to carry on along here and make my way further along into the building to see how the signal behaves. You can already see that spike when we were close to the router again. But if we carry on moving down this corridor, and yes, this is quite a windy building. Sorry about the sound quality, guys you will start to see that performance level start to drop quite sharply. There's about six walls now between me and the original Wi-Fi point. The signal is holding up very well indeed, but there's still no denying there has been a drop in performance. So let's get a bit more distance, shall we? Let's see how far we can go now to get that signal to drop a little further. Again, you're gonna start seeing that spike as I get closer to the Wi-Fi point. There's the kitchen level there. Behind me, that's the mesh that isn't turned on yet that we're going to be using in our next test. And you can see the levels of that connectivity are kind of mid-ranging. So we're going to carry on into the building. Moving along, I feel like an estate agent. And here is a hell of a lot of stairs. I don't know how well you guys can see that. So I fall down the stairs, call me an ambulance. Carrying on, you can see that signal is really starting to dip now. And that's another reason why the Wi-Fi mesh point is going to be of enormous benefit here. Because the minute you move into quite hard concrete walls along with poor connectivity and lots of stuff in between, that's when those levels really start to dip. So what I'm going to do is make my way back into the office and then do a, a complete walk around, this time with Synology's mesh system in place. Right, so I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but we've got our mesh networks out there with two nodes. We've next to that Wi-Fi router, and obviously our signal's really, really good. But let's make our way to some of those other areas from the previous part of the video and show just how that Wi-Fi network is improved. So let's walk along, carry on. I'm gonna interrupt these nice people talking. We're just gonna carry on walking past them, pretending it didn't happen. Just gonna walk along into the other side of the building. And as you can see, the mesh network here is set up with the device there. It's all powered on. And now we're at the other end of the building. And you can see stark differences between the results that we saw earlier in our Wi-Fi performance than what we see now. So if we move our way along into the other further along part of the building, we can see more. 
And again, I'm sure I look fantastic to everyone here, but we're just going to move along, carry on to the other part of the building, make our way into that corridor. And again, you probably saw that performance spike that we saw um, dip earlier, but this time, because we're next to a Wi-Fi mesh point, it's going to, I'll show you where the mesh point is in a second, but as you can see this time, the performance isn't anywhere near as poor as it was before. Yes, it wasn't terrible before, but it could have been better and it is now. So we're gonna move along, carrying on into another part. And here we are back in that kitchen area where our second mesh point was. That's all three. And what we'll do now is we'll make our way into that corridor area that we're in earlier on, just to show you that even through those extra walls, because we have a mesh point there and a mesh point there and a mesh point behind me through two walls, that the levels that we're gonna see aren't anywhere near as poor as they were. I'm not gonna try and fall down those stairs, but go a few steps down there. And yes, the performance isn't perfect because chances are we need another mesh point in this area, but it's still nice to know that we've got a greater coverage and each one of those nodes was only about 100 quid. But let's make our way back into that office and I'm gonna round things up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do have any questions about mesh networks and more, do let me know. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.